Barry Steakwise, or you may know him better as Jetpack Droid himself. He has appeared in many games, and today I shall be ranking all of them. But not on a tier list, I will go through the games as they launched chronologically, giving my thoughts on them. Then at the end, I will rank them. Also, I will be including the games where he is playable, but not the main character, so Dan the Man, Rascals, and Star Skater will be here too. So, let's get started. Age of Zombies is peak mobile gaming. Honestly, it's probably my favourite mobile game of all time at the moment at least. It's really fun. You play as Bowery going through different time periods, shooting zombies, and you unlock different guns throughout the levels. And the zombies were sent by Barry's arch nemesis, Professor Brains. The story is pretty funny too. There's not a whole lot of it, but the bits that are here are quite funny, like at the end of the main story, Barry gets granted immortality by the prince. <laughs> then it gets taken away from him in the next level when they wanted to add more levels to the game. I think that's quite funny. It doesn't even explain how, it just says it gets suddenly taken away from him. <laughs> May seem like a cop-out, but I don't know. I find it quite funny. Really good game, and it's the top of the list so far. Monster Dash is okay. Not the best game ever or anything, but it's fine. It's an endless runner, and I'm not a big fan of those. But you play as Barry, and he endlessly runs through shooting at zombies. There are also power-ups like the machine gun jetpack. Also, I'm not a big fan of the new art style, and when remaking the game, they should have either used the original art style or one similar to Jetpack Joyride 2. The one they currently have is the one from Battlestar Racing. And in my opinion, that game looks really ugly. I hate the cheapified versions of the characters. They don't look very appealing. Now here's a controversial opinion. I'm not a big fan of Jetpack Joyride. It ain't bad, but as I've already discussed, I'm not really a big fan of Endless Runners. And I feel like Monster Dash is better than it. Shooting at zombies adds more value to the gameplay. The crossover events in Jetpack, such as Back to the Future and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, really elevate it. And this was the game that made Barry famous after all. But it is at the bottom of the list so far, but don't worry, it's not gonna stay there, as there are some actual really shit games coming up. There is also Rascals. I haven't actually played this one, but going by the gameplay I've seen on YouTube, it looks okay. You go around ballet against other players and have to destroy code blocks. It may be unfair to rank this as I have never played it, but I don't care. Star Skater is another game I haven't played. It seems fine, and I think it's endless. I'll put it below Rascal. Again, I haven't played it, so it may be unfair, but again, I don't care. Dan the Man is a really fun game. Barry is unlockable here by either purchasing him or by inviting five friends to download. And of course, I did the latter. Like, I'm not going to spend money. But in terms of Barry's gameplay, he has a shotgun and you shoot enemies with it. The shotgun has unlimited ammo, which is really good because... Long range weapons are a thing in Dan the Man, and having one with unlimited ammo, Barry being the only purple character to have one, makes him the best character to play as in my opinion. You can also punch enemies, and you can also upgrade him to get other moves that even include the machine gun jetpack. Dan the Man, genuinely really fun game, one of the best mobile games of all time, genuinely. If you haven't played it, I recommend you do. Battlestars Racing is not a very fun game. You play as different half-brick characters in race. It's not bad, but the other games are better, bottom of the list. Magic Brick Boys is so shit, it's just a crap version of Clash Royale, not fun, and I don't have anything else to say about it. Okay, the last game on the list. Jetpack to Ride 2 is so fun, I genuinely love this game, and there is nothing wrong with the game itself. The art style looks nice, and the gameplay is the same as the original. Only robots will come out, and Barry gets a gun to shoot at them. And when you go through the level, you can unlock more powerful weapons for a few seconds. There are also vehicles such as Big Stomper, UFO, Gravity Suit Mark II, and Robot T-Rex. The main game is actually level based, so I'm gonna prefer it to the original. But there is also an endless runner mode and a boss rush, way better than the original in my opinion. And at the end of each laboratory, there is also a boss against a character as well, so... You have Professor Brains in Legitimate Research, and Minotaur in the second one, you have Mikhail in the third one, and I don't remember the rest. <laughs> but there is an elephant in the room in talking about Jetpack Joy 2, and that's of course the Apple Arcade exclusivity. I know that's really annoying, I love Jetpack Dry 2, but I don't want to spend £5 a month just to play the game, and it's really annoying. I really hope the Apple Arcade exclusivity deal runs out soon so I can both play it for free and so Android users can experience it, because I do genuinely feel for you guys, because you're missing out on a genuinely really fun game. And I feel like once this leaves Apple Arcade, the opinion on it will raise significantly. Yeah, because this game is a fun game and more people need to experience it, but sadly, not a lot of people can. But that's not the game's fault, so I'm not going to heavily impact it on its ranking. Okay, so that's all the opinions discussed, so let's rank the games from worst to best. Magic Brick Wars, Star Skater, Rascals, Battle Stars Racing, Jetpack Joyride, Monster Dash, Dan the Man, Jetpack Joyride 2, and finally, Age of Zombies. Subscribe and like the video, goodbye.